Good morning and welcome to a daily vlog. I've not done one of these in a while and today's is going to be health and fitness focused. I'll be showing you what workouts I do, sort of um, showing you what I eat in the day. So if that is something that you don't enjoy or if it is triggering for you, um, I will be talking about calories and stuff. So please feel free to just skip this video. Um, so I'm just starting the day with a green tea. Um, this is a new thing for me. I'm normally definitely a coffee person in the morning, um, but I'm trying to reduce my milk intake. Um, I read recently that uh, dip, a lot of dairy can cause inflammation. So I'm just trying to reduce that, see if it makes a difference. And also, I also heard, I think it was on the TV not so long ago, that if you have your coffee first thing in the morning, that's what causes you to then dip in the afternoon. Um, so whether that's true or not, I don't know, but I'm trying green tea this morning. Um, I just need something warm while I gear myself up to do my workout. It's currently 20 past five in the morning, so I've been up about 20 minutes. Um, I've already had a glass of water, let Toby out for a wee. Um, and Xander is currently asleep. Um, he normally gets up between six and a half, six, so I've got, got about... 40 to an hour, 40 minutes to an hour. Um, just gearing myself up to do a workout. I won't be able to film it because I need to do, so my PT sends me the workout videos and I need my phone to do it. So I won't be able to film myself doing it. I'll probably do a couple of like shots just to show you what I'm doing. But yeah, that's that. Um, so let's get into it. Hope you have a great day. Uh, so that's it, workout done, slightly sweatier. Um, it wasn't hard as in got out of breath a lot, but oh my gosh, my arms and legs. I've not really done much this weekend apart from walking and chilling out with Xander, so I don't know why I ache so much. But my my legs and arms are killing me today. Um, so I'm glad it's done, it's out of the way. It's 10 to 6. Um, I'm going to finish my ever so slightly cold... I need to stop talking to you like that. Um, I'm going to finish my slightly cold green tea and then get a protein shake and then, yeah, get Xander up, get ready for work. And I think I'm going to walk to nursery today. It's not raining and it'll get my steps in because I think the rest of the day I'm just going to be set. Well, I've got an office job, although I am working from home today. So I'll just be set my bum all day. So if I can get my steps in early, that's always a good thing. I can't see Zaya. Yeah, we're going through the trees. Oh! Is that Zander? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So we are on our commute to nursery. Um, it's about two miles round trip. Um, go through some woods. We go past some diggers. Yeah, it's a really nice walk. Um, the diggers are all gone. The diggers are all gone? No. Still there. Oh, they're still there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. In a bit. So I am on my way back, ever so slightly lighter load. Now little man's gone. Um, he did get a bit upset when I dropped him off, but that's quite normal for Monday. I've, he's spent all weekend with us, so it's a bit of a transition. And it's heartbreaking for me because he was crying and it's awful, but never mind. He'll be happy as soon as I've walked away. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be about 10 minutes late for work. That's sort of the sacrifice I have to make if I want to walk, I have to be a bit late and then leave a bit early if I want to walk to pick him up. But I don't work Fridays and every other Friday Zander goes to his nana's so I can just make my time up every other Friday. I'm so out of breath. You'd think I'd be getting fitter, but clearly not. And on the way there, so we were a bit early. 
and I let Xander walk like the last couple of streets and we got to a hill and we kept doing a couple of steps stopping and going oh, I need a rest and then carrying on Wait, I don't stop that often or I didn't think I did anyway so yeah just on my way home straight to work and I'll catch up with you when I have my mid-morning snack see you in a bit so this is the protein powder that I have from my protein. It is 19 grams of protein for 100 calories and it's in the flavor smooth chocolate. I also have a protein shaker from there. We've lost the little filter thing and the shaker ball so I have ordered some new ones. Um, I just use water. I normally use almond milk but we've run out so I have to have it with water which is totally disgusting. Um, but there you go and this is just me adding it to my fitness pal. Hey, so it is about five past 11 and I am currently starving. My protein shake from this morning is long gone. Um, I did have a coffee. I didn't film it. I was in between meetings, so I was rushing. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go get a snack. I, I think I'm gonna get some yogurt and strawberries um, because it's quite late, it's five past 11. It's only gonna be an hour, an hour and a half until I get my lunch. So yeah, we'll do that. So this is the Greek style natural yogurt from Sainsbury's. We get the full fat version because I give it to Xander as well. Um, and then I'm just cutting up some strawberries. Um, I like to add cinnamon onto the top. Not only is it an appetite suppressor, but it tastes lovely. So we'll just add that all together and give it a mix. There's nothing really to it. Hey guys, ignore the building work. It is now lunchtime and I have half an hour to whip up a super quick pesto spaghetti. So the spaghetti is already cooked. I just need to make the pesto. I'm trying to start really quickly before the builders get right around. So this is a super simple pesto recipe that I got off the internet, I think it was on the BBC website. Um, I quartered the recipe because I only wanted to make a small amount, but it just has pine nuts, basil, pe um, parmesan cheese, and olive oil, and then a little bit of garlic. I just whiz it up in this little chopper and then put it into a jar. This will last in the fridge for up to five days. And you can also freeze it in ice cubes. Um, it makes enough for about two large portions or three small portions. I'm just adding it to some pre-cooked spaghetti, as I mentioned, and then there is definitely enough in there for either another lunch, spreading it on some rice cakes, etc. Pesto is one of my favorite things and I just think it's so versatile. It's also really nice spread on top of cooked chicken. Hi guys, quick update. So it got a bit chaotic when I picked Xander up. Um, I've had some mackerel as an emergency snack because I was starving, like I was shaking, I was so hungry. Yeah, Liam's also hungry. <laughs> um, and then I've just opened a non-alcoholic lager just for something to drink. I think it's 70 calories, so it's not, not a lot. And I'm only on about 800 for the day, I think, losing track. Um, so anyway, I've got a work meeting. Um, so Liam is kindly cooking tea. Uh, we are going to have chicken salad wraps. And then I may or may not go out on a dog walk. I've not decided yet. We'll see what time my meeting finishes. Just in a bit. Hey, so this is the wrap. It is amazing. Liam should just cook all the time. Um, yeah, so that's it for today. Even if I do go for a dog walk, I'm probably not going to film it because it's nine o'clock. I don't want to be walking around with my phone out. So that's it from today. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Bye.